Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a reaction video to the best news bloopers of 2020 in February. Let's check this out. <laughs> Alright, and here we go. Well, three buildings have been destroyed after an intense fire ripped through them in Rumford and now all that's left is a pile of rubbers, rubble rather. Elena, <laughs> the sun will come out today. Well, yes, today. It's today. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the worst. Wow. Sherry, what did you get your wife? I got her a beautiful card, a dozen roses, and we're going out to a nice lobster dinner tonight. Oh, wow. Jerry, he's right on top of that. Touchdown! <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mandy. <laughs> Hey, Mandy. <laughs> Everybody wants Whoops. to watch that. I think we need your umbrella today. Yeah. Cool. Yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right. Good morning. Yeah, we got a couple of showers in the area, everybody. <laughs> First morning traffic with Gal. <laughs> Hello, this is Big Al. I'm going to do a little bit of <laughs> <laughs> I don't know That's near good. as well as he does when he's <laughs> doing my voice. <laughs> 7 o'clock this evening. Both will expire at 10 o'clock in the morning. What's up, Casey? And we are looking <laughs> at what will likely be another round of some light snow flurry activity. Hey, what's up, Casey? <laughs> we might have to switch to navigating for Casey through the studio so he doesn't walk in front of the camera. Oh, wait, here we go. <laughs> this yeah. morning, it's just rain, but there's also some fog slowing things down, Laura. Yeah, I just wanted to check on the visibility here real quick, and you can see the camera just moving on, and yeah, we're going to just have a... <laughs> moment there and there Whoops. is Paul and there goes Paul push the camera <laughs> <laughs> happy Wednesday that it's should not day. be moving right. like that do you know what your child is watching online new figures from the watchdog Ofcom show more children are now streaming programs or clips on the internet than watching live television they're also using phones from a much younger age and are often allowed to take them to bed by age 10 50% of children own a smartphone we're going to see these high winds continue until <laughs> at least Four o'clock tomorrow for uh, San Bernardino and Riverside County, but in LA Ventura, it's going to expire not until Tuesday night, nine o'clock at night. And these winds are bad. Let's show you some video of even. <laughs> what was that early? <laughs> I'm sorry. Earlier today. Um, <laughs> I'm so sorry. All right, everyone, coming up. Hi. <laughs> 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 I made it. You made it. You sure did. Nobody noticed a thing. <laughs> Nobody noticed uh, a thing. 625, everyone. <laughs> Coming magic. Up on... <laughs> Coming up on 16 Morning News Now. They call it Yosemite's Firefall. Yeah, I, did I, I pronounce you, that right? Yosemite. Oh. <laughs> 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 You're so many. Uh, I'm gonna just sit over here. Okay, take away, Gina. Take it yeah. away. Okay, Can you I translate got, the English yeah, to that? I got it. I got right. it. Uh, speaking of disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because if you go to Yo's Mike, you definitely, not we're not going to see that either. No, you won't see it there either. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> County Road Department is working to stabilize a rock slide on Fingerboard Road in Reliance. They say recent rain has also caused flooding issues across the county right now. Uh, Chesty Bridge, Browder <laughs> Road, and Copeland Road are all closed. He's trying to the flooding. And we have a few more closures. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. Okay. Uh, starting at 1 o'clock this afternoon, running through 5 o'clock Tuesday morning, this is my special request of Nicole Dubay. Here we go. It's happening. This could end poorly, or it could not happen at all. Okay, here we there go. There she goes. I've come to a stop. <laughs> Alex, 
we appreciate the effort. Thank you. <laughs> just be careful coming back up, okay? We appreciate that. Can I just, here, Lacey. That's what friends are for. Keep smiling, <laughs> keep shining. No one you can always count on, Lacey, for sure. 35 degrees when you step out the door. <laughs> this is what would happen if we were Siamese twins. I know, it's kind of scary. How would we go on a date? I don't know. We both have husbands, so that'd be awkward. Super awkward. Okay. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Tell me why. Let me tell you about the time that we had a weak winter storm system out west. <laughs> then the skies cleared out, little Lacey. Yay! And a smile went on your face. <laughs> I love the sun. <laughs> What is going on and, you know, how is this impacting you? Has water gotten into your apartment or anything yet? Well, not yet because it's not that bad, but over here on this side it kind of is, and I guess in the far back it is. That's why the cars is up here and stuff. But it haven't really hit our parking lot yet, so it really ain't affecting me yet. But once it do hit that, they probably going to tell us to evaporate, and then that's what gets on my nerves all the time. <laughs> we got to keep evaporating. So, yeah. yeah. And I know we're right by Bowling Creek, and you said that this evaporate? happens a lot, that you all have fun. You mean here. evacuate? I mean, when I first moved here, I think the first night I moved here, it was like this. So we had to, like, evaporate. And they had, like, boats <laughs> and stuff out here. Cause the you got to be kidding like, me. You mean evacuate? With a look at current conditions around wow. Here. Yeah, panelists, a good morning. For the most part, uh, it's fairly clear, and that is going to be something that we're going to have to keep an eye on at the black ice at this point, uh, as we are seeing on road conditions as you head off to work. I'm Michael Coon for Wayne 15 News on the road this morning. Look at the windshield wipers, by the way. Michael, thank you very much for that coverage. Indot and City Plows hit the streets as soon as But timing is also affected by the conditions that come with the snow. Leave yourself extra time to get where you're going this morning and slow down, especially a <laughs> plow truck. С 1 февраля выросли размеры пособий федеральным льготникам. Ежемесячная денежная выплата проиндексирована на 3%. процента. Извините. Чи <laughs> Нет, 137 это на, э, на, на путь, нет, на путевку в санаторий. А оставшиеся на международный проезд к месту, месту отдыха и обратно. Понимаете? Полторы тысячи из них 900 на медикаменты, 137 на санаторий. А оставшиеся деньги на проезд. Oklahoma City police are looking for a woman caught on know. surveillance camera stuffing a six pound ham down her skirt in a convenience store. What? The woman and two men are seen standing by a cooler, and then the woman sneaks the ham down the front of her floor length skirt. Oh my god! The door isn't that big, but the thieves were still able to get away with almost eight pounds of meat without being caught. <laughs> Well, once the owner realized what was missing, he then checked the security cameras and he was blown away by what he saw. The woman already had several packages of <laughs> bacon in her skirt before stuffing the ham, and he's pretty sure that this wasn't her first time in the store. <laughs> he says that he has come away with about eighty dollars worth of meat. <laughs> Put a sign up, Banny, baggy clothes to keep this from happening again. 
All right, at this point, let's go ahead and send it on. Stop laughing. No more bacon and skirts. We're going to go over to weather here now. All right, coming up on 511 on Friday morning. And by now, you probably know who you're rooting for in the Super Bowl, the Chiefs or the 49ers. Hopefully, you know. Yeah, maybe or, or not. Don't care, but yeah, it takes true. real sports pundits <laughs> to pick the winner mm -hmm. of this year's <laughs> game. The staff at the Cincinnati Zoo thinks they're lions, cheetahs, and Fiona the apple. Fiona the apple. <laughs> 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 Chiefs canister here. You're going to see it in a moment when she just up and farce uh, all over it. Oh. Sue's not sure if Fiona's picking the Chiefs or if she's just simply disgusted with them. Probably just bitter that the uh, Cincinnati Bengals didn't make the Super Bowl. <laughs> or that her song Criminal, that Fiona Apple will be performing. Yeah, Fiona the Apple, man. Fiona the Apple, that's Fiona good. I don't know what Friday, she would do to it. Friday in the entire world right oh, now. Oh, that is funny. Oh my gosh. Hello, Justin Hinton coming to you live from Madison County, a snowy Madison <laughs> County. Um, a lot of snow is hitting the fallen and house falling. Oh my God, look at this. Covered. If you see some snow where you are, you can always send them to us on our chime in feature. You can do that on our app, or you can also do that on our website. We'd love to see the snow pictures and, and what you all do out there, uh, whether it's your animals who like to play in the snow sometimes for the first time. This is really the first. Uh, That's good. The ultimate snowfall we've seen uh, this, this season now. So I know a lot of folks are certainly excited about that. And, and the first time that school is really getting canceled, kind of across the region. Um, Governor Cooper is uh, <laughs> warning people to be careful um, with the snowfall because it really is. Oh, that's snow. good. Um, I like that one too. I know folks who live in West Virginia are familiar with the He's snow a wizard. and how to drive. But it's just a good reminder with this being really the first um, significant snow that we've had. Google eyes! So be safe if you do have to go somewhere on the road. Make sure you're giving yourself plenty of time <laughs> to get the there and is. plenty of space with the car that is in front of you. So again, the snow continues to fall here in the Wolf Laurel area of Madison County, just near the Tennessee border. Uh, wait, Misty, did I have a weird face? <laughs> wow, there are special effects on the phone. Well, we weren't trying to. for a very miserable night for some. Miserable night. I don't think she meant to say miserable. I only mean, I think the audio just caught. All right, looks like uh, we're having some tech technical difficulties here, but certainly um, the National Weather Service is telling us that with temperatures getting into the very, very cold temperatures, uh, you're going to want to cover your plants, keep pets indoors, and certainly uh, cover your pipes because there is a chance of freezing temperatures for some areas. There's freeze watches, freeze warnings, um, and then we're also hearing that these gusts are turning into a Santa Ana wind event up until Wednesday. Uh, we understand that uh, we're going to actually, now it looks like we have our story, and we're going to toss to that right now. <laughs> All right, before we get to Veronica's story, we want to tell you about some breaking news now in the city of Inglewood. A lot of police activity right there. Chris Christie live overhead in Air 7 HD. What are we looking at here, Chris? <laughs> wow. Uh, they're having, really having bad technical difficulties there. Oh, here's the helicopter. Wow. Okay, we're having some problems there uh, with uh, Chris Christie's uh, signal. We're going to try to reestablish with him in a moment. And right now we're going to move on to some political news. Of course, coming out of Iowa tonight, the big news everyone's talking about, caucus chaos. Everyone there asking, where are the results of all those votes? Eyewitness News reporter Josh Haskell live in our satellite center with more on what went wrong in Iowa. Josh. 
What a mess, Mark. You know, the first voting contest, supposed to narrow the field, supposed to give us a sense of how things might play out over the next few months. That didn't happen tonight, and the candidates are saying, on to New Hampshire. It did again! Holy crap! They're really having bad technical difficulties. ABC 7 Eyewitness News. And that's going to do it for us. We hope you guys have a great night. <laughs> okay, I didn't know it's like it's a technical news, but overall, it's not too bad. Not too bad. Not bad bloopers, but there's you know, some good ones in there. Not too bad. Pretty shabby. <laughs> the, the lie one. The, 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 one the one with the good ones that she just called it an apple. <laughs> That was good. I liked that one. That was really good. Ooh. Excuse me. Anyway. Sorry about that. Anyway. Please leave a like. Comment also. Please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. I hope everybody has a safe and wonderful Sunday. And I'll see you in my, in my next video. I'd like to thank all my subscribers. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And remember, stay humble and be a blessing.